guys, RC Knowledge Peter. Today I'll be unboxing the Traxxas Aton. I got this today and I've already actually taken it out and flew it, but I'm just going to be doing an unboxing for those that like to see people unbox it. So I already cut the box and I want to pull it out. So this drone I think came out in January of 2016. And this thing, I've got to say, is a lot of fun. Um, it has three modes. On the back it says it has film mode, sport mode, and expert mode. So film mode, it's going to go really slow and smooth. And that's for like if you have a camera and you want to attach your GoPro to it so you put your GoPro on it, be nice, smooth. Sport mode, it's going to be faster, much faster actually. It's going to be able to do flips and the tricks. And then in expert mode, it's going to go even faster in sport mode. And I think it can get up to about 50 miles an hour in expert mode and it's going to perform better, so in expert mode it's going to perform much better than in sport mode, it's going to go faster, and it has a lot of cool stuff in it, so I'm going to open it up. So when I first open it up, you'll see these manuals and stuff you read, and right there you'll see the Aton. Just make sure you read your manual, it's important. Give you a nice extra set of propellers, some pieces and screws for attaching your landing gear on. And once you remove this foam, you will actually see the Aton itself. So there is the Traxxas Aton and they're all nice packaged up. First, let's remove the Aton. It's really easy to pull out. And here is the Traxxas Aton itself. So I really like the design of this drone. It has some quality weight to it. You have your on the bottom, you got your LED right here. You got your white and red, and your red and black props. Red is front, black is back. And then on the back, you have your door to the battery. The battery goes in there. When you plug in the battery, it makes this musical tone. And then you have your status bar. This is your power up, hit it on. This is GPS, GPS, and then there's home. And then this is, um, I don't really know what that is. It started beeping to me when it was getting the battery low, so I guess that's just a battery status thing. So now I'm going to open everything else up, set the Aton down, have your transmitter right here. On the, this is your left stick, throttle, and yaw. Right stick adjusts the forward, backwards, and sideways flight. Then right here you have your power switch. When powered on, you'll see the percentage and then there's two buttons on the sides. This one, when you press it, you can do flips. Also, there's something really cool about this drone. When you do a flip, you probably know it can do forward, backwards, and sideways flying, but this drone is special. It can do a diagonal flip. Now, I've never heard of a drone that can do a diagonal flip. I think this is pretty cool. And the flips are really fast and cool looking, so I like that about that. And this button right here, this is your return to home button when you press it. It will bring the drone back to you. This button, this arms the motors before you fly. So we got all that. And now I'm going to get the battery out. Got your Traxxas um, 3 cell 3000 mAh battery. And I got the just the Aton, not the Aton Plus. Also, you can get this off Amazon for about $360. So they had a little sale on it, got the 360, and I love it a lot. Here's the GoPro mount. I like the GoPro mount because it has a gimbal on it and it's real easy to put on, but the gimbal also has these little shock absorbers. So when you're moving around and the wind's catching it, it will absorb the bump, the bumpiness. So it won't, it's going to be really stable, kind of like on the DJI cam. And you got the landing skids, which these are cool. You put these on when you're going to use your GoPro. And then right here is your battery charger. Everything. I think it takes about an hour, an hour and a half to charge. Took a little while for me. And I think that's about everything. So I'm going to remove the box so I can actually show you guys the power on the drone. So the drone um, is a lot of fun to fly. It does take a little learning curve, but I like it that it has GPS because it's very easy to use. It's not hard at all. So I'm going to plug in the battery and it's going to make a little musical tone. First on your transmitter, as usual. And flip it over. Turn on the battery. When you put in the battery, you press, press down and out. 
drop it right in there, plug it in. And you just heard the status indicator, and now it's doing GPS, but I'm not actually going to fly in here because you need to fly outside. So things on the drone that you probably don't see is on the bottom, there's a button, and that button right there is for Bluetooth. So if you want to connect to your iPhone, then you can do that. Also right here, I think, I don't remember which plug, there's actually two. There's this one, the red one and the white one. One of them is FPV, so I don't know what these do, but I think one of them, you can connect the Fat Shark camera. And as you can see, the drone has the red and white lights on it, which are really nice and bright. And I'm pretty sure there's a way you can turn those off. So, oh, here we go. So you can turn them off or on. This is when it's off, it can say it's battery, and that's when it's on, so that's nice. Um, if you were spying around, I don't know what you'd use these for. But it doesn't turn off the indicators here, so that's nice. And what else? I like the design of this drone. It's very cool looking. It's not like a box like the DJI Phantom. The DJI Phantom, it doesn't really have that cool of design, but the Traxxas Aton, it looks pretty cool. So if I were to fly, what I do is I let it sit down until all four indicators are solid, and then you would press this button to arm the motors. And it also has auto takeoff, and you just raise the throttle to 50%, and it will automatically take off. So that's a nice cool thing. And um, I'm going to unplug it now. So the transmitter, the way you change three modes is you can also press this the right stick down, and there's film. There is fast, and then there's expert mode. So I recommend you get the feel of it in film mode, then go to sport and try everything else. Also, if I didn't mention this, the right stick over here is the air brakes. And in sport and expert mode, they don't have GPS on so you can move faster. But if you want to have the drone just sit there and not move, hold your air brakes, and it will not move. So it has GPS in film mode because you're going to be wanting to work on getting the footage of what you're trying to take a picture or video on. So it has GPS on, so it's going to be nice and smooth. And when you have it still, it's not going to move around. But in sport and export, it's going to move around. So you're going to want to hold the air brakes on. So now we're going to go over the manual. Manual has, you see all the stuff about it. It also tells you how to connect it to the remote. And it also shows you right here how to put the landing skids and GoPro on. So I'm going to do that real quick. Now, you don't pop, you don't snap in the landing skids, which I kind of wish you could do that, but Traxxas made it so that you would screw them on, which doesn't take too long. So these are rear, put those on, and then front. The landing skids are good if you're doing videos, but if you really want to fly in sport and everything, you're going to want to take them off. So this is what the drone looks like with them on. It looks pretty cool, and then you would have your GoPro on which I don't have another GoPro, I'm using the GoPro to film this, so I can't show you with the GoPro on, but your GoPro mount, it would be right about here, just like that, and then your GoPro would be right here. So the skids keep the GoPro from touching the ground, and they're really good for filming. It's also good for return to home, and that's another thing this drone can do. It has GPS, and it can also do return to home, so if you get worried, you don't know where your drones at, um, you can press this button and it'll come all the way back to you. And you can adjust how high you want the drone to go. Because if, if you're right here, here's you, then there's trees and the drone's over the trees, you can adjust it to go really high and then it'll come to where the transmitter's at rather than going not too high and then it'll hit the trees and crash. Also, if you, if the drone is going to crash on a tree because it doesn't know how to navigate from a tree, just press the air brakes and it will stop what it's doing give you control of it. So that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please leave a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.